All righty. So we are ready to install the fender, which is gonna go on top of the wheel so that all of the stones and things that I go over don't kick up and, you know, hit me in the leg, the shin, the face, whatever. <laughs> Dirty up your grip tape. Oh, uh, whatever. But what you have to do is this comes with a star key. They give you all of the stuff. The first thing I have to do is take off this basically factory installed, what they call a fender delete. Now, what we found is that it said in the directions, because it comes with directions, that um, they use a thread locking compound and so it may need some force. So Dave is very smart and just said, let's get a ratcheting. Yeah, she's a ratchet set mm -hmm. with a star. So we practiced to make sure it would work. So we did that. And then now I'm gonna go for this one. It takes just a little. Now the star key might work just fine, but this is just gonna be an easier Proposal. Yeah, you can use it. That's yeah. just a lot We're faster. not saying that if you get a one wheel, you have to have a ratchet set. No. <laughs> Dave has a do, very nice ratchet set, and it's fun to break it out. Yeah, if you have one, just work smarter, not harder. That's right. Okay. So I'm going to lift off the fender delete here. And, and you don't have to take the handle off to do that? It doesn't say I have to, but let me see what it says. Probably not. Okay, fits snug around the wheel and may require lightly stretching around the mag handle to remove. Yes, so lightly stretching, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me just get all of these out of here to make sure they're not grabbing. Entertainment in one wheel assembly and disassembly. I'm gonna stand up to give myself better leverage. This is why we have video editing. <laughs> Ah, okay, there we go. There's little tabs. See, little tabs. Show me. Oh, nice. Right there. Okay. So you have to kind of pop one side out. Okay. And that's the fender delete. Yes. So this comes factory installed. Yep. We're replacing this with all of this. But while I have this off, we figured out probably a really good time to install the, the new handle I got. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we figured out, just like with taking off the fender delete, because this is very well constructed and takes a maximum advantage of space, <laughs> you're going to want a ratchet to at least loosen this up. This just makes it a lot easier. When you use the Allen wrench provided, you can get it out, but you have to go boop, and then go back, and then boop, and it takes a really long time. A ratchet is just going to make it a lot easier to pull out the screw. Yeah. A lot. Trust me. I mean, you could do it with the tools that they provide. Absolutely. But, yeah. But it, this is just easier. <laughs> oh, way more. All right, hands are placed. Woohoo. What are you looking for, Blake? Um, one thing that we did notice, though, is once you get the screw out of here, grab yourself a little pair of needle nose or something and um, just latch onto it because it'll just spin in place. And you can just pop it out. That's the easiest thing. But. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. It's a little finicky getting in there with the little, you know, the little Allen wrench it gives you. Little, but um, it's not much space in here. Yeah, if you have a ratchet driver, like screwdriver or something like that, you get life's gonna be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. But again, not that you can't do it with the tools they give you. You absolutely one hundred percent can. But you know, that's gonna be a lot easier. Yeah. And those needle nose that helped a lot too to get that screw out of there. All right, onto the fender, yeah. See. Si. All right. Back to the fender, now that we have the handle replaced. Look at that, look at that color combo, I love it. Here, put it more in the light. That's gonna be super cool. <laughs> so replacing the handle, super, super easy. Do that while your fender's off. It's gonna be, your life's gonna be a lot easier. I guess you could do it, the, no you couldn't. There's no way you can nope. do that. So what you do is you just. The screws that come with the fender also have some thread lock on them too. So if you don't mm -hmm. have any thread lock of your own, it's already Ooh. in there. Ooh, what was so that? wait for the snap. <laughs> it was not quite. So remember I showed the tabs on that first part? Oh yeah, it flexes yeah. a little bit. Uh -huh. So then you tap these four. It says put the, push these into place. And we did find out the pint logo faces the back pad. Back foot. Yeah. Also important. And then you take the star key, which this was the one we used, right? Yes. Okay. That's gonna fit your... Um... Just cause it's gonna make it easier. Are there, is that a star or is that an Allen wrench in there? Yeah. I'm going to do it loosely. 
Yeah, this no, part is super fun. easy. Yeah, replacing the fender is super this easy. This is the easiest part of this, is just putting the fender on. <laughs> well, I just have to take all that off to put the new bumpers on. That's your face. <laughs> that would be funny. In a not so funny kind of way. <laughs> all right. So handle done, fender done. Handle and fender done. So this now will keep everything from skipping up and hitting my legs and my knees and anything else that I could shoot up if I'm going. Especially if you're riding it when the ground's wet. Oh yeah, that too. But especially around here, we have lots of gravel driveways. So even when we're on paved neighborhood roads, there's gonna be a lot of small rocks in the road. And I guarantee you that those will end up. Yeah, red clay ping, ping, ping. everywhere too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this also, it just helps protect the life of the wheel and yep. the life of the rider. <laughs> very, very easy to uninstall and reinstall. Yeah, the handle was the tricky part, but the fender is just as long as you get the screws out, you can get the screws back in. And just making sure that you flex it a little bit to get around the handle, yeah. and then you wait for that kind of push down till you get that snap so the tabs catch on both sides. Next thing we're doing is changing out your bumpers, yeah? Yes, yes. So the first thing you do, surprisingly, when you're changing the bumpers, is you have to remove the screws on the front foot pad, which is, that's a little like, ooh, because the, the foot pad is, you know, a key right, part of this whole thing. Are, uh, yeah. They scare you to death too. They say, don't, don't do this. But then, you know, <laughs> their yeah. the equipment, which we bought from them. <laughs> so none of this is third party. This is all made from one wheel. Right. And the fangs aren't here yet. Those are third party, but. All right. Later. So I remove those and then I flip the board over. You get your drink out of the way. <laughs> Rule number one. No liquids when dealing with electronics. And then I remove all six of these. Because this is what's holding the bumper on, right? You tell me. You're bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Having a ratchet set? Very nice. Oh, yeah. I always hate doing this with an Allen wrench, a little mm -hmm. tiny handheld Allen wrench. Yeah. You can do it, guys. It can be done. But I'm just telling you, this is easier. All right, I'm just loosening them all up. Yeah, we'll come back. All right. All right, so the screws are out. They blend in with our black table. But now all you have to do, now you should be aware, the foot pad's going to like, if you don't have your hand on it, we learned it's going to kind of flap down when you're upside down. Mm -hmm. And it'll scare the crap out of you. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah, but mm -hmm. we were following the official one wheel direction, so we'll see what happens. Now you just slide this out. That's nice. It slides out very easily. Good chance to check all your connections. Mm -hmm. And then this, my cool new color, my coral, just slides right back in. Nice. And then you just tighten it down. You put out, we've laid out the screws exactly like they came out. So mm -hmm. it would look like that when they go right back there. Yes. Simple, easy peasy. And one thing we learned, <laughs> if you have a fender pre-installed, when you put yes. your bumper on there, just make sure there's no little gap. I mean, we had like a little eighth of an inch gap right mm -hmm. there. Where my finger, only my fingernail fits mm -hmm. now, but before. So just give it a little pop. And otherwise, you're just not going to line up very well with your screws. But aside from that, it went on pretty smoothly. Actually. Yeah, exactly. I think it's just like when we put the fender on, you kind of have to push and wait for that snap. Yeah. This, you kind of have to pop it on. Yeah, and keep your hand under it. Yeah, because... Because <laughs> that sucked when you unscrewed here. Really? Yes, you unscrew the two long ones the... in this pressure plate falls off and that's like the scariest part of the <laughs> scares board. scares you because like, that's like super pricey. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to mess with the pressure plate. So speaking of which, the last thing we have to do now that we've got the underside screwed in, so we have to flip this back over and re-secure the top foot pad. So we have the last two screws here. We just put those in and then you just go and screw them in and you just make sure that your foot pad is secure. Because that's yeah. really important. <laughs> Super sensitive too, so you just gotta watch out for that. Yes. 
onto the back fender. Yeah, bumper. Bumper. I keep calling the fender the bumper and the bumper the fender. <laughs> so this is where the long screws are. It helps to have fingernails to get up under these once you've got them loose so they can come out more easily. Yeah, this one's a piece of cake to, to swap out. Yeah, this is just a little end. Because you're not worried about the whole the, the sensor and all that. Uh -huh. So then you take these four out. And the fun part is getting these little guys out. They need to be a bit of a... <laughs> yeah, we'll slip it on. Oh, they're gonna go fine. Well, one did. So the other one's not quite ready. By the way, this is a heck of a workout. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is 23 pounds of awesome. Oh, and it said it would might be require a little bit of force to come off, but uh, I guess not. Nope. <laughs> it says removal might require some force due to snug fit. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> and then now here is my the new one. And then oh, there's a little tab here. So it says carefully lining up the tabs. Ah, there we go. And slowly pressing directly. Yeah, there it's already on. The I can see yeah. it. There's, there's no way that's not. And then replace the two screws in the end first. There we go. And put those in, and then you do the other ones. So that's interesting. It's just in reverse order. Yeah. Easy peasy. Way easier than changing out the front one. Not yeah. that the front one's hard, but when you're doing it for the first time. Right. Maybe this video will help people. <laughs> yeah. And the nice thing is, is they did give us an extra set of long screws. Just in case. Like, they gave us an extra set of all the screws just in case we need them. Nice. Yeah. We don't because we didn't drop them or lose them, but yeah. we could have. <laughs> this one, yeah, the... The difference here is much easier, much better. Mm -hmm. And then Very they say, simple. just like we've been doing, which is start all the screws before you tighten yeah, them yeah, all. Never Get them all in there. You know, some people who did maybe... Did you some thread lock on them? Did, did you notice? Um, the long ones, I think, did. Yeah, but I, I didn't they're... notice if the short ones did. All right. There's probably a video out there of somebody doing this in a professional shop. Yeah, probably. Uh, we figured we'd film it anyway. Why not? It's from a bunch of amateurs who have never even seen a one wheel before today. Yeah, we're learning. In person. Hey, don't be afraid, right? There we go. Fear is the mind killer. Yeah. Another nerdy quote. To <laughs> so yeah, we just go in, you tighten it up a little bit. I think we're good to go. Ooh, all we got to do now is slide it, slap on your. I side. know. Time for the little sides. All right, there. Last part, easiest part. Yes, super sticky. Maybe the easiest, maybe the hardest, because screws at least tell you if it's in the right spot or not. But when you're just using sticky. Yeah. <laughs> You have to be very careful. And this just protects the yes. metal. Yes. So I have to pull this red thing off, but make sure I don't also pull off the sticky stuff. So there. Okay. So there we go. You want that sound. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's super sticky. All right. Now here is where the precision needs to come in. Yeah. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah. It, it makes you commit pretty quickly. Just FYI. <laughs> And then I am assuming you just press like hell. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a sticky. I know. It is super sticky. Now, also, just FYI, there is a cover, like a cover thing on here that to remove once you're done installing. I left it on there. Yeah. Just in case. These are the rails that we got from One Wheel, actually, too. Yes, the they make there's third, there's third party rails, uh -huh. I believe, out there, but our first outing, we just got everything from One Wheel, minus the things, again. We do have fangs and coming. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> this is actually one of the most stressful parts other than removing this foot pad. <laughs> yeah, it's a sticky. <laughs> it's a sticky, but it's super sticky and you don't want to like, you did, we still paid for it, you know? Yeah, worst so you, case scenario though. So you don't want it to look bad. You don't want it to accidentally block your charging port. Just throw some glue in there. <laughs> Two part epoxy and be done with it. <laughs> you did pretty good. Not too shabby for 
Actually, something, where's your um something that's at an angle? Here you go. Here's your Oh yes. Do 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 <laughs> and this is the official it's, it's basically a plug protector. So it goes in there to help protect from all of the dirt and debris, just like this protects your legs as you're rolling, this protects it from popping up into the charging port. So now... One more side and you're done. Now we do the, the fun little reveal here. There's the first one. Sticky. <laughs> and then the second one. Okay. That looks pretty slick, man. Wait till we get it in the light. Yeah. Actually, turn it to clockwise. Yeah. Get some light on it. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Those are cool colors, too. Actually. I like yeah, that. I'm really happy with the colors. And so you can go in and, like, Dave's is going to look 100% different from mine. Yeah. Not only because he has an XR and this, this here is a wood grain. It's actual wood foot pads. But also because the color schemes we went with could not be more different. Mm. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put these same two things on this back side here. And we're going to do mine, and then we're going to go riding again. Uh-huh. We did take a ride. A very, pre-anything, just to go out in the yard and find out how to balance. So, yeah. <laughs> but we couldn't film it because they say when you first start, you should hold on to another person. Yeah, And there's only two totally of us did. in the house. <laughs> yeah, we didn't film that part. No, because that... Trying to but it take was care very of easy. safety plus film was not, yeah. we each would have required one more hand. Yeah, we didn't want to film our first time. We wanted to be as responsible as we could <laughs> so we could film it later and not yes. from an emergency room. Yes, very important. 